have a lot to do with the game itself. Kevin Holliday of the Memphis River Kings started playing hockey on the frozen ponds of Red Lake, Ontario when he was three years old. Moving up through the minor hockey system, he developed a reputation as a physical player. But it wasn't until junior hockey that he became known as a tough guy. It's just a kind of a, a role that I kind of inherited, I guess, since, since I um, started playing junior. I kind of always had quite a few penalty minutes and always played a, a, a tougher role. When I broke into to, uh, pro when I was 21, I, I came in and, and uh, played the same way as I did in junior. So they figured that, uh, you know, that I could fight and uh, fit into the tough guy role in, in pro as well. And I, the, the tougher I played and, the, you know, it seemed that, that the more fights that I would get in, so. After five years at this level, if a player hasn't proved he can either score a lot of goals or win a lot of fights, chances are he'll be out of hockey and looking for a different line of work. I don't want to go out and get a real job. <laughs> I, I work uh, construction and, and uh, I work in the mine in the summertime uh, at home. It's a, a gold mine. I do labor work and shoveling rocks and jackhammering and stuff. And I do that for five months in the summer and I, I can't wait to come back and play hockey. It's a lot, it's a lot better way to make a to make a living than doing that for the next 40 years or whatever, so. When Kevin first broke into the professional ranks, his coach gave him some advice. He's never forgotten it. He just said to me, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna come in and be a tough guy, be a tough guy all the way. You fight whether you feel like it that night or whether you don't. And uh, I just keep remembering that, that, uh, that as long as you, you keep doing your job and, uh, and are willing to do it, then uh, you shouldn't have a problem uh, playing as long as, as long as you want in this game. Kevin makes no apologies for how he plays the game. He knows he either makes it as a tough guy or he doesn't make it at all. If you have skill, you play with your skill, and if you don't, then you gotta find uh, a, different way to, a different way to make a living playing hockey, and uh, if that has to be fighting, then, uh, then it has to be fighting. He holds the record in all of professional hockey for most fights in a season with 43. This year, his goal is to break that record. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty close now. I have 33 and 33 games. I would, uh, yeah, I would, like to, I would like to get the record. I mean, that would be great. Not all tough guys. It's always been a game of intimidation. And um, you want to kill a player every night. And, uh, you know, uh, Kevin Holliday is one guy that you certainly never have to give the nod to. He knows his job. You know, there's never once I've ever tapped him on the shoulder, go get this guy. He, he knows what he has to do. Usually I know when it's a, when it's a good time to fight or when it's a bad time not to. I mean, um, but, but sometimes when, uh, when stuff's happening out in the ice, some of our guys are getting cheap shot and I might be on the bench, I might, I might give him a look and say, hey, you know, maybe... Maybe uh, I should go out there and settle something down, and uh, he might just say, well, "Well, we'll give it one more shift and see what happens." Hey, Peter, what are you doing? Sometimes a tough guy has to get into the action, even if it's from the bench. I mean, I just send a message that he's not, you know, no one's going to come stand by our bench and throw punches at a player. Can't let that happen. People think that uh, tough guys are just, you know, brutal fighters that all that just they fight all the time. You know, they they fight on the ice, they fight in bars. You know, you you piss them off, and they're just gonna fight you, or you know, or pick they go out in the street and uh, pick fights with people. And it's not like that. I mean, uh, you do a job, and it's it's just like any other job. And uh, off the ice, you're just a you know, you're just another regular person. He's a totally different person when he's off the ice. Injuries come with the territory, but the toll on tough guys is brutal. I've had fights in the past where my hand has been 
blown up like a balloon. It's been so swollen, and uh, uh, I've been out on the ice, and the guys been have come up to me and said, "Hey, let's go," and drop their gloves in front of me. You know, I, I would never turn down a fight. <laughs> Sometimes you're forced into a fight, and uh, sometimes your hands are, are beat up beyond, uh, you know, you can hardly even even punch. You hit a guy, every time you, you throw a punch, it, it just, it hurts all the way up to your shoulder. And, uh, you know, it's not, it's not fun. You, you throw uh, three punches and then try and kind of wrestle the guy and throw him down, because it's, it's just, it's too much pain to keep throwing punches at a guy's face or helmet or head. As much as I can straighten it right there. Uh, some people down here kind of, they ask once in a while if it's if it's real or if it's like WWF, and uh, I mean it's it's nothing farther than farther away than WWF. I mean uh, a hockey fight is is very real. I mean the, your hands take a beating, and, and I've broken my hands uh, many different times, little little cracks and fractures here and there, and from hitting a helmet or a forehead or uh, or the back of the head.